All right, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Toon Guy, man. And uh, I don't think anybody has told me to react to something like this, but I seen some on Twitter where, um, let me go ahead and just read it. It's what Daddy Fat Snap said. I, DPS, I'm sorry, saying I can't, I don't like saying daddy and shit. Pause, bro. Uh, he said, and this is a quote to Mix Williams' tweet. Basically, he was tweeting out this video as promo, you know what I'm saying? He said, this is what you should be talking about. Don't show up for no diss track and, and, and say how crazy an artist is. If you aren't clicking his real music, this is real hip hop. So that's what Daddy Fast, that's what DPS said about Mix Williams. And I seen on Mix Williams, he said, like, man, I seen a tweet he said about the Jamar video. He was like, man, I was speaking about stuff. I was speaking about stuff like this. My bad, something's in my ear. I was speaking about this, but. Y'all looking at Jamar's stuff because it's a diss, you know what I'm saying? But I was speaking about the same topic, you feel me? But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get into this, man. Like I said, nobody really told me to react to this. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I just, I'm just, i just curious myself to see what, what it's about, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to get into it, bro. All right, you rocking the braids? I don't know. It's just something Six, about braids. Nine, like, five. people with Thanks, braids be I'll soft be right as hell, you feel me? Like. You know what I'm saying? Like, people with braids and shit. My man iced out. I wish I can grow my beard like that, but I cannot. I'm not fine. <laughs> I'm not yeah. fine about that. All right, no, I've been working so hard for so long. Confidence emanates, but the doubt has been growing strong. So used to being known as the guy who makes all the right calls. So I show no emotion when things start going wrong. If passion was all it took, then I'm massively overlooked. Been in the game for 10 years, and they asked me if I'm a rook. I said that anyone can do this. That's my point of view. Sometimes you put it I guess on. Guess that's what the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. It's like, dang, y'all acting like I ain't got no talent. It's like, y'all not showing me the looks. And I've been in this game for 10 years, you feel me? And honestly. I'm gonna stop trying to revert back to myself. Like it ain't about me. It's about it's about y'all. You feel me? But uh, you know what I'm saying we already 40 seconds in. I feel like he's already touching on a, a topic where it's like a lot of people get overlooked, even though they feel like they do have the talent. And uh, when I heard his 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 response, I can tell like he he can really spit. You feel me? He can really spit. I ain't gonna lie. He, I think I think I think he might get a lot of influence from Drake. Like I can I can hear that clearly. You know what I'm saying? He might get a lot of influence from Drake, but uh, nonetheless, like, you know what I'm saying? People do that all the time, you feel me? But if he's going to flip it in his own way, do that. But uh, we're going to keep going. All you got and you still come out number two, for real. I always put everybody in front of me. Still can't figure out how the doubting started so suddenly. I think about all the times that Alicia wanted to up and leave. The only one who sees my smile and the pain that's underneath. Feel like I got no one to split the burden with. Feel like I never learned what my purpose is. And I don't I never knew I don't know I if he's actually in Nerdcore or not. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he is. I've seen this. They say that the sparks fly when I think the circuit trips. I'm drowning in the deep end. I can't find where the surface is. Can't buy happiness. I wish you could, cause I would purchase it. Talking to my shrink and he's telling me I should learn from this. My dad says he's proud of me, and I'm sure he is. He said that what you want gonna come to you if you deserve that shit. Make a list of good and bad, and take the bad and work with it. Practice makes perfect, but nobody knows what perfect is. Old flames hit my line because I'm up now. All this running from my past got me feeling so run down. Feel like my life gonna pass me by if I keep living like this. At the bottom of the ladder, I'ma shake that bitch till it comes down. And look at you niggas like, what now? Cause some of my best friends had me thinking my dream was dead. Depression creeping in. It was hard to just leave the bed. Thought I should sleep instead. Then I listened to what Steven said. And my talent had him inspired. Attitude like he admired. Humble kid, yeah. but in the booth, I'm a dragon breathing that fire. Sad to see me so tired. He's mad yeah, that we right. wasn't higher. That I'm practically Michael Myers on tracks that I want to kill. Constantly get rejected, but act like it wasn't real. And everybody wishes they could do that. That they could stand up to any shot and never shoot back. And people thinking they can knock me off the track, then nigga, that's too bad. Yeah. Y'all, hold up, man. It looks like my uh, battery went low, bro. This nigga's spitting so much deep shit, bro. My my earphones didn't even want to listen to it. You feel me? Like, he's spitting so much deep shit. You feel me? All right, y'all, I'm back, man. I had to change my damn earphones out. Like I said, them earphones, they died as soon as he started spitting some real shit. You feel me? Like, don't cut him off like that again, my nigga. Uh, I don't even know where I was, man. 
fires on tracks that I want to kill. Constantly get rejected, but act like it wasn't real. And everybody wishes they could do that. That they can stand up to any shot and never shoot back. And people thinking they can knock me off the track, then nigga, that's too bad. Yeah. I've been wondering what I'm supposed to be. Find something I'm good at, hopefully. I just Always said he reminded me of Drake. Notice me. I don't want to disappoint the people that I keep close to me. So if you say that you don't need me, I don't need you either. Gas tanks on me, tears make it hard. Damn, you're looking at me like I'm a clown. I think I figured out my role in life will always be people pleaser. All right, man, I, I fuck with this, man. I guess my thoughts. I mean, I guess he did speak on it like Jamar did, but I think Jamar was, I guess y'all can say he was in his feelings about something else. Whereas Mix Williams was in his feelings about, you know what I'm saying, just being noticed in general. And even when it seems like he's fine, he's not. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but the problem not that I have with him or Jamar, just the fact that like people just like drama, bro. That's really what it is, man. So that's why this got overlooked and Jamar's didn't. Like it's just simply what it is. You feel me? Like Jamar name dropped a bunch of people. And I mean, like I said, it gave people content. Like I said, it gave you a lot of views on your stuff. And ain't nothing wrong with that, you feel me? Uh ain't ain't nothing wrong with that or nothing like that. Let's see if he tweeted something else, bro. Let's see if he tweeted something else. Like I said, I don't really know Mix Williams like that. I've I've seen his name multiple times, but I just don't know him like that. But he was like, "Hey, I dropped this." Okay, okay. This is two hours ago. This is two hours ago. It's wild, man, because I dropped a song the day before and all this bullshit. Hold on. It's wild, man, because I dropped a song the day before all this bullshit, and I was talking about every single thing. Uh, I was talking about very similar things to Jamar, but I know I don't deserve anything. Ty Wild said, nothing wrong with it. Feel like you deserve more than enough. Just a matter of understanding what it takes to earn it. To feel deserving of something, to act entitled to two, different, two very different things. And that might be what it is, man. I think Jamar probably came off as entitled. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to think. And, yes, I have to keep reverting it back to me. Someone like me, bro, I, you will not see me on a single big channel, bro. I've never been featured on a single big channel, bro. Bro, there are some people out there. Y'all get a couple of these big features. Y'all see y'all's channel start rising up. And when I say big features, I'm talking about like actually being on their channel. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and like and like Dizzy said, maybe I'm not nice enough. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It could be that. But the problem is, you see that it's getting you a bunch of views, but you starting to rely on that. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, my my channel views been going down. Let me get some. Let me get a Zenkai boost from one of these big niggas. You feel me? No homo. But I'm saying pause. <laughs> Damn, that sounded weird, bro. Hey, somebody, please don't click that. Please don't click me. <laughs> but nah, sometimes you can't feel entitled because it's like, you really think like, just because you know me like that, I got to keep doing feature for you. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to keep doing feature for you for you just because we in the same group or or you feel like yo, yo, yo verse is more valuable. Like your time, my time for you is more valuable than my own time. You feel me? Like, I think that's, I think that's why Dizzy was so irritated because it's like, nigga, you, you know what I'm saying? Your time is not that valuable to me over what I already do and, and the things I got going on. And that does come with a sense of entitlement, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I think me personally, I think I personally get overlooked a lot, but I might not be putting the work in, you feel me? But I'm not going to cry about it. I'm just not. I'm not saying Jamar's crying. But I, me personally, I just figure out what I'm doing wrong. I might ask somebody like, hey, what do you think about this? 
but I just I just don't go around just asking for shit all the time, man. That's just not who I am. I I, I go get it myself. You feel me? Like nobody. Like like think about this. Think about this, right? When I got big on TikTok, I got viral in January. And it was Toasty Marshmallow that pretty much retweet she retweeted something that I did that was a duet of hers. It's called a duet, right? But I didn't post it on TikTok. So I just edited it to make it seem like I was talking back to her. You feel me? The anime girl dates the hood dude. She retweeted that. But I'm not going to feel entitled for her to keep making that stuff just for me to be relevant. You know what I'm saying? I already had worth ethic in general. So I just kept posting. So, and, and you can be like, oh, she made you. She, you know what I'm saying? When I dropped, when I dropped uh, Types of Black Dude, the Negro Saki thing, there was somebody that used my sound that got a million views. But guess what? They didn't get no followers like that because... You know what I'm saying some people just get some some people just luck up and get that shit, but it depends on how your worth ethic is. I already I was already posting content before that, so when they seen that on my channel, my thing got up. My thing started getting a bunch of views, and you know what I did? I started racking up a bunch of fucking TikToks after that, bro. I started I started racking that shit up. I'm like shit. If this shit getting if this shit start hitting five hundred thousand, a million. All these other videos are gonna start hitting 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, and that's exactly what happened, bro. Because I got work ethic, you feel me? I don't care if I'm sleepy, I work 12 hours a day, my nigga. I got work tomorrow at 7 p.m., and I'm gonna be back in the morning at 7 a.m., bro. And I'll do that for three days, bro. I already did that, and I'm not complaining about that. I, cho- I choose to do that, you feel me? But in the midst of all that shit, I still find time to make content. And that's and that's the thing, bro. That's the thing. And, and and a lot of people like myself might feel like we're getting overlooked because we push out all this content, but not all content is good, you feel me? And maybe it's a thing where it's like, hey, you need to stay on TikTok. And there's some people that might like my music, you feel me? But there's something you might be of value to somebody in some way, bro. But don't always look for a cop out. Don't always look for, like, oh, man. Hey, when's she going to retweet another one? <sighs> when's Toasty going to repost another video so I can get another 100,000? You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be entitled, bro. Like, just put the work in and and just always think, bro, good karma. If you if you keep good karma and good energy, bro, like, your blessings going to come eventually, bro. Like, don't be impatient. Don't be entitled. Just because you get a feature with a bunch of bigger nerdcore artists does not entitle you to getting more of those just because, you know what I'm saying? And some people can come off like that. Like when and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, bro. When I seen Jamar post his DMs with uh with uh nine nine five four Mari, I think that's his name. It it looked like he was he was trying to tell Mari like nigga, I wouldn't beg him for no verse, but you gotta think, bro. You posted a screen recording and you messaged this dude like five times without him replying. You feel me? Like he said he was busy. You feel me? And really, if somebody don't reply to you, man, and they know of you and they know you, bro, they not replying. They don't want to do it, bro. It's just simple. It's as simple as that. They don't want to do it, bro. I'm not gonna ask anybody more than once if you want to work together, bro. If you don't, you don't. Okay, but uh, so yeah, I like this track, man. Uh, Mix Williams spoke on some stuff without actually having to diss people. He just spoke on like from a rapper standpoint, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and like I said, I gave his diss a six because it sounded like it. It's I don't know when he I don't know when he recorded it or or wrote it, but it just sounded like Mere Blackwell's and dizzy's put together so i just you know what i'm saying you got to do your own thing you know feel me but this track with the with the with the music video quality and the message and how he put it together damn bro this is really pushing 10 bro i'm not gonna lie 
I think the editing on some parts could have been better. I'm going to give it a 9. I'm going to give it a 9. I give it a 9. Because, like, when you give it something a 10, it's, it's perfect. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if it was perfect, more people would have seen it. You know what I'm saying? But I give this shit a 9 for me. Yeah, then. But, uh, yeah, man. Y'all y'all go fuck with Mix's, uh, Mix's discography. It seems like he does. Like I said, I don't think he's in. Let me check this real quick. So, yeah, I don't think he's in Nerdcore, bro. I think he just drops dope music. Yeah, I think. Damn, my nigga, in two years? Oh, you not dropping enough. That's why people ain't working with you, bro. You not dropping shit. They don't know when you're going to get that verse done, man. You doing it to yourself. <laughs> Come on, man. You not dropping enough, bro. Oh, see, <sighs> you're not dropping enough, man. And that matters, bro. You're not dropping enough. Let's see if he. Let's see if he got another channel. Damn, I'm sure. I'm sure in about a week he gonna take this off right here. <laughs> bro, you're not dropping enough, man. What the fuck? That's the problem right there. If a nigga ain't, I don't care how much I want to work with somebody. If you're not dropping enough, bro, I, I'm not going to ask you. Oh, come on, man. Man, y'all not dropping enough, bro. This is a pin and dragons right here. Oh, see. See, that's a different topic right there, man. Y'all can't talk about not getting looks and y'all not even dropping. And maybe you do drop. Maybe you drop on Spotify and on it, bro. You got to think, bro. Nerdcore is a YouTube-ass community, bro. <laughs> like, you got to drop on YouTube, my thing. Like, like, you have to. It, if you don't, if you want this to just be a music video channel, just make another channel, bro, and just throw all your songs on there, man, nigga. Oh, hell no. I can't let you slide with that, man. I got to keep it a buck. Bro, I'm fine video was two months ago from the, the, the hate. Two, four months ago from the one. Six months ago from White Tea Freestyle, bro. You dropping damn near once a month, my nigga. Listen, this is one year ago. There's 12 months in a year. There's 12 months in a year, bro. And this is nine tracks right here. You're dropping damn near like 0. .5, 0. .7 videos a, mo a month, bro. Come on, man. Drop a little bit more, bro. I promise you get the looks, bro. You got the voice and everything, my nigga.